Hey everybody and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Downshiftology. I'm Lisa and every week I post healthy gluten-free recipes and videos that hopefully inspire you to simplify your life and take your life down a notch. If you watched my recent video on zucchini noodles, you know that I absolutely love my spiralizer. But there's so much more that you can do with a spiralizer in addition to zucchini noodles. So in today's video, I wanna show you some of the best vegetables that you can spiralize, and these are the ones that I spiralize most frequently. I'll also include links to a little recipe inspiration for all of these different vegetables, and maybe even a little fruit that's gonna sneak in at the end, down in the blog post below, so make sure to check that out. But for now, let's dive in. Zucchini is the number one veggie I spiralize, so it only makes sense that we start with that today. To spiralize the zucchini, cut off the ends to create a flat surface, then place it on the spiralizer. I'm using my Paderno spiralizer to get these beautiful zucchini noodles, but if you've watched my zucchini noodle video, I'm sure you've seen plenty of spiralized zucchini. For our next veggie, which is a cucumber, I'm gonna swap out the blades and use the thicker spiral slicing blade for nice and crisp cucumber noodles. Cut off the ends, place the cucumber on the spiralizer and give it a twirl. The spiral blade is great, but the blade I actually use the most with cucumber is the straight blade as it creates these beautiful cucumber ribbons. And as you can see, it's an easy way to create some pretty stunning salads. Next up we have sweet bell peppers and I'm using green today, but of course you can use any color. If your bell pepper still has a large stem on it, go ahead and snip that off. But since mine doesn't, I'm good to go. Spiralizing bell pepper is by far the easiest way to slice it for fajitas and stir fry. When you're done, you will have some of the white pith and seeds in there, so just pick that out. Our next veggie is a parsnip, but you could also use other root vegetables such as turnips, rutabaga, and celery root. Peel the parsnip and slice off each end for a clean surface. Then place it on the spiralizer and start turning for some gorgeous parsnip noodles. I also have a new parsnip noodle chicken alfredo recipe coming to the blog next week with a dairy-free alfredo sauce, so make sure to check that out. Carrots spiralize very similar to parsnips, and for both of these veggies, the larger and wider they are, the better. So just peel and slice the ends again and place the carrot on the spiralizer. Because my carrots aren't overly huge, I'll end up with more half moon curls rather than full noodles, but that's also perfect for salads. I also don't waste the core when I'm spiralizing a carrot and tend to snack on it while I'm cooking up my next recipe. Up next is a sweet potato, though you can easily spiralize white potatoes as well. Peel the potato, slice off the ends, and place it on the spiralizer. I use both the medium and thick spiral slicing blades with sweet potatoes, depending on the recipe, but the thicker blade is perfect for making my homemade curly sweet potato fries. Now this red onion may be my absolute favorite veggie to spiralize, and it's for one very selfish reason. And that's because it doesn't make me cry. I seem to have hypersensitive eyes when it comes to cutting onions, but I can spiralize an entire onion without any tears because it's so darn fast. That's a huge win for me. And just look at how perfect these slices are.
Continuing with red or purple vegetables, up next we have a cabbage. Though, of course, you could use green as well. Remove the outer leaves from the cabbage and slice a flat surface on the base. Then place the top of the cabbage on the blade side. In seconds, you'll have enough cabbage for one very large batch of coleslaw, sauerkraut, or braised cabbage. Beets are nutritional powerhouses and you can use either golden or red beets. But I do have a pro tip for spiralizing beets and that's to use some plastic gloves so that you don't stain your hands. I also want to mention that brightly colored veggies such as carrots or beets can stain your spiralizer, so make sure to wash it right away once you're done using it. Raw spiralized beets are absolutely delicious in salads and they look so delicate and pretty. To finish off this list today, let's spiralize something sweet. I'm using an apple, but pears are also great to spiralize. Just remove the stem and place it on the spiralizer. And there you have it, the most popular foods I spiralize. I hope you guys liked today's video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss next week's video.